All right, welcome back to section two. We're gonna start with the cron job. So in your modic dashboard, go up to settings here and then configuration. Now we're gonna grab the path to the modic folder. So you can get it under here. It's everything under app, copy that and put it in the separate word doc. I've created these beforehand, but I'm gonna leave them in the lecture notes so that you can have them too. Now back into your cPanel and scroll down to advanced and then cron jobs. And this is where your PHP is located. So we're going to copy that. Go before here, hit, paste it in and hit space. Now on the modic website, you'll have all the major cron jobs and the time intervals that they suggest. So we're going to do each of these major ones. So we're going to grab everything after app. And paste that in. And then the last thing is this section here is so that you don't get an email every time the cron job runs. I'll fill up your folder pretty quickly. So hit a space and paste that in. And now for the time intervals, as you'll see, uh, they're each separated so that they don't interact with each other. They don't run at the same time. So that's very important here. So uh, we'll start with this first one. Let's go back to the cron job section. And under common settings, we're going to hit once per minute. I'll fill in all of these. Uh, but for the minute section, we're only going to do every 15. And the command is what we created here. Hit add new cron job. We'll say it's a success and it'll show down here. So we'll do it for our next one. Again, once per minute, take away the minutes here and the command. This one is done a lot more often as you can see. This is the actual sending of the emails. Now for this last one, uh, it's a little bit different. We're going to run it on the first and the 15th day of the month. So we do uh, on the first and 15th of the month as a section. And we're going to grab that. Okay. And there are your cron jobs. Just a few more housekeeping tasks before we can get on to the fun stuff. In your modic dashboard, hit the settings icon and then configuration. And first we're gonna select our default time zone. So enter yours here. Next is under the core settings, you're gonna put your domain. And then down here, we're going to hit yes and then fetch IP lookup data store. That's going to take a second. Once you get the success, 
scroll up, hit apply. And then save and close. Okay, now we're gonna integrate our email. So in the Modic dashboard, hit settings, configuration, and then email settings. Now there are some popular ones that people use like Amazon SES, SendGrid, and Elastic Email, which is what we'll use. If you wanna use Amazon SES, you'll have to apply for an account, but they're pretty strict on who they let in. So keep that in mind. So to sign up for an Elastic Email account, go to elasticemail.com, hit try for free, and use the email address that we created earlier for your website. So a very important step is you'll have to activate the account before you can use it. So in your cPanel, go down to email, email accounts, choose the one that we created earlier, click check email. You can click any of these, I use Roundcube. And then we're going to confirm the Elastic email account. Okay, once that's done, Head on over to your dashboard and you'll see this. Click connect to HTTP API. And then click to generate an API key. I've already done that, so copy this. Go back to your Modic dashboard. We're gonna select other SMTP server. We're gonna choose login, for the SMTP authentication mode. We're gonna paste that API key for the password. Username will be the one we signed up with Elastic Email. The host will be smtp.elasticemail.com. And the port will be 587. So make sure you apply your changes. We're gonna go back to email settings. And we're gonna test the connection. There we go, we got a success. You can also send a test email if you'd like. That would get a success too. And the test email will send to whatever you have here. So you can check that out. On the free trial of Elastic Email, you'll only be able to send 100 emails a month before they stop you. So if you want to start sending in bulk, you have to sign up for a plan. So in your dashboard, hit my plan, and then we're going to be selecting the pay as you go because we're connected through their API. And as you can see by their pricing, this is probably the cheapest that you'll get on the market. So let's say you want to send 100,000 emails, divided by 1,000 times 0.09. At nine dollars for every a hundred thousand emails sent. So you'll select this. You'll choose your credit option. I like to just start with the lowest one, and you can pay via Stripe or PayPal. And now we're going to verify our domain. So in the Elastic Email dashboard, scroll down to Verify Domain, click this button, and then enter in our domain address. You should see a bunch of red X's here. Now we're gonna have to edit some records. So in the Bluehost portal, instead of hitting advanced, we're gonna hit domains, and then the drop down arrow, and then DNS zone editor. And for this, Elastic Email has a nice support document about what you need to do here. So first we're gonna add the SPF record. We're gonna grab include colon underscore spf.elasticemail.com, copy that. And under a previous text record, the at sign, we're gonna add that in, hit space, paste that in, and then save. Now we're gonna add DKIM, so that's a new text record. We're gonna grab this as the host name, scroll up and select text, paste that in, and you need to grab this entire value. Text 
value, hit add record. Next is going to be the tracking. So this is going to be a C name record with the host name tracking. It's going to point to api.elasticemail.com. Last is going to be the DMARC. It's going to be a new text record. This as a host name. And the text value, I just like to use the none. First one here. Success. Now you might have to wait a couple minutes for this to update. But once you're ready, go back to the Elastic Email Dashboard, and then you can hit Verify Domain. And there you go. Just hit Refresh to see the updated icons here. Let's create a custom bounce domain to improve our reputation once we start sending emails. So thankfully we can do this right from the Elastic Email Dashboard. We're gonna to go to our account settings, domains, these three little dots here, and then click set bounce domain. Let's choose create a custom bounce domain. And it's gonna automatically generate one for us. It's usually gonna be bounces.yourdomainname.com. That's okay. Now we gotta add an MX record back in our cPanel. So we're gonna to go to the DNS zone editor Select MX. We're gonna grab this right here and put it in the host record. For the points too, we're gonna to grab bounces.elasticemail.net. We already have an MX record of priority zero, so let's make this one. After a success, we can scroll down to make sure it's been added. There it is right here. And after a few minutes, you can go back to the dashboard and click verify. At first, when you send to an account in Gmail, your profile picture is going to come up blank. It's either going to look like this or it's going to look like just the letter of your first name. So we want to change that. And how to change that is we need to create a Google account with our new email address. So we're going to go to accounts.google.com and we're going to click this, use my current email address instead. We're going to put in our email address. And on the next page, it's going to send you a security code to confirm that is your account. Once you grab that, we'll open up the main Google account page and we can change our profile picture. Let's drag this in here. And now when you send to a Gmail account, it'll show your picture.